What is going on guys? Zuggy Fishing here, back to you with another video. Hope you guys are well, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you are, make sure you guys like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Shout of the week goes to Buckeye Fishing. Congrats on the shout of the week, buddy. Guys, look for a word or a phrase in quotation marks somewhere throughout this video. And if you get it, leave it in the comment section down below. Guys, it's giveaway time. We just had a Carl's Bait and Tackle $50 giveaway, and that will be announced on my Instagram in the near future. But today, we have a new giveaway for y'all. Myself, Fishing with Tate, and Fishing with Becca are all collaborating on a giveaway. We are giving away a Shimano SLX 151XG bait casting reel. This reel is phenomenal. You've seen me use it in tons and tons of my YouTube videos and catch some big fish on it. Super, super easy to enter. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram at Zuggy Fishing. It's the same thing as my YouTube channel. And you have to follow Fishing with Tate on Instagram. His link is in the description and follow Fishing with Tate becca on instagram the link is in the description as well so basically just follow all three of us on instagram and you will be entered if you go on my instagram to the giveaway post there are some more things you can do to actually get more entries in the giveaway if you go to my instagram and go to the giveaway post there's some more things you could do to be entered more times so basically just follow all three of us on instagram and go to my Instagram page, go to the giveaway post, and check the more things you could do to get yourself entered more times in this giveaway. Go follow us through on Instagram and go check out that giveaway post. All right, guys, today we are going to be pond hopping. We're going to try to go around some local ponds, try to catch some big fish on tons and tons of variety of the baits, different ponds, different types of bodies of water. We're going to try to utilize that. We're going to see what happens today. Let's go catch some fish. All right, y'all, at pond number one, we have the Shimano SLX 151XG paired with the St. Croix rod, and we are just gonna flip some chatter baits. Let's go do it. Let's go catch some biggins. Let's do it. This looks exactly like a bluegill. This looks exactly like a bluegill. Is there? There's a monster bluegill. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Charles, Charles, get him! Charles, get him! Oh my gosh! Charles, get down here! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! No, get up here! Charles, get that bass! Get that bass! Lip him! Lip him! Lip him! Yes! Oh my gosh! Dude, that's a pig! That is a pig! Oh my gosh! Let's go, baby! That's what we're talking about. That's what we needed. That is what we needed. Dude, did you see that? Oh, that was sick. That was sick is right. Dude, that's a hog. Dude, look at his mouth. Why is it like curved in like that? You see that? Yeah. The heck? That is that nuts. Guys, action. absolutely annihilated that chatterbait with the saucy swimmer. I was going to put a Guggenbaits mini trailer on there, but I didn't. My, look at his mouth. Charles, look at that. I'm it's like sure. curved in. Dude, that's a pig. That is a pig. I'd say two and a half, three. I'd say th that's a pig, guys. Look at his mouth, though. That is so weird. That's a beautiful bass. I literally, I was literally rolling that chatterbait right along here. He was underneath that tree over there. Slammed it. I set the hook. Let's go. Dude, what is wrong with his mouth? I need to know what's wrong with his mouth. Oh my gosh, it's a pig. Charles, let's get a pic of this guy. Guys, a gorgeous largemouth. Look at his mouth. It's like weird. It's curved in. This guy's cool though. That's really, really... Like, look at that. It's like, I think something happened to his nose or something like that. But that guy is fat. That is a fat largemouth right there. Beautiful stuff. Let's get the release on this guy. Alrighty, see ya, buddy. Off he goes. Literally, that was that all was you. So sick. You literally, I flipped it over there. <laughs> Wonder if the video got that. Somewhere. All right, guys. So basically, what I'm doing here, there's this little pocket, and Charles over here, he came over here and he was like, he saw like this whole bait ball of bluegill, and as a knowledgeable fisherman, he said, you know, there's a big ball of bluegill. Maybe if you roll your chatterbait, which is you know a bluegill imitation, 
it looks like weak, it's slow, not that fast. If you bring it right across that bait ball, allow a bass to get that reaction strike, allow that chatterbait to stick out from the rest, and that's exactly what happened right there. Exactly what happened. So basically I just flipped it to that corner, rolled it, saw it, set the hook, boom. That was a solid, solid bass. I'm sorry I didn't catch it on the Guggenbaits Mini, but um, yeah, let's. that was so, so sick. So uh, yeah, let's catch more fish. Should I fish it like a jig here? This is too big of a presentation for him. A few moments later. All right, y'all, spot number two. Kind of found this spot, Google Maps, but some of my friends have actually fished here. We're fishing the spinnerbait, rolling along the bank. Let's go catch some fish. No, I don't. Okay, I just, I just didn't see any signs, so. Okay. Okay. Some ladies trying to kick me out. Even though I don't see a single sign around here that says no fishing. I do not see a single sign. There's, there's not a single sign that says no fishing. I don't, I don't see a single sign. She's calling somebody. She's calling somebody. She's calling somebody. Alrighty. She's giving me a stare right now. Hi, how are you? literally not a single sign around here she seems to be the only one that cares so I mean I don't know if there's any fish in there anyway but it's ridiculous there's not a single sign I there's no sign that says no fishing oh now she's talking to her neighbor Okay, she's pointing at me. There's not a single sign around here that says no fishing. There's not a single, there's literally not a single sign. There literally isn't any, any sign at all. So we might as well keep fishing. There's not a single sign. I'm not in the wrong here. I'm not in the wrong here, that's for sure. I don't see any no fishing sign. There's not a sin, there's no no fishing signs. The lady literally said, there's no fishing. I go, there, yeah, there, I just didn't see any signs that said no fishing. She was like, oh, oh, well, well, there is. And I walked all the way over there, this whole side. There's not a single sign. I completely understand if there's a sign there's absolutely no sign. There's no sign. She's like standing outside of our home right, her home right now. There's literally no sign. The no parking sign. There's a pick up your trash sign. There's a dog thing sign. There's no no fishing sign. Karen's these days. Are these the minis? I see that. I see that. There's always a bass up shallow. What are you throwing at? Yeah, what are you throwing? Thank you. All right, guys, spot number three after that little Karen encounter. That was insane. But we're with Cap 80 Fishing and Charles. Let's go catch some fish.
Oh, I got one. On the chatterbait. Let's go, baby. Dude, chatterbait. That's sick. There we go, guys. That's a good one. There we go, guys. On the chatterbait, saucy swimmer, bluegill pattern. That's a nice, that's a nice fish. Boom. There we go. No. The bass today, the mouth was like bent in like that. Right. No, it was more, it was pushed in. Yeah. It was like to right there. Yeah. There we go, guys. Really nice bass on the saucy swimmer chatterbait. Basically just rolling it through this open water right now. Great windy day bait, which is what today is. Boom on the saucy swimmer by Guggen Baits. So we got some more fish. Alright y'all, spot number four. Sorry we're switching around so much. We're trying to go where the fish are at. We're at a reservoir. Let's catch some fish. You actually got one? On the frog? That's so sick. Did you see that frog? Where? Solid fish. Guys, AD Fishing just got one on the frog. That's so cool. First cast. Solid two pounder. Good job, AD. That's nuts. Midday frog. Let's do a 2v2. You two versus us. 2v2, guys. Me and Charles versus Cap and Ant. Yep. You're one up. You're one up. You're up 1 0. Honestly, one of us should throw the frog. I kind of want to throw it. Down here. He was just lucky. Yes, that shade is good. Oh Alright y'all, at a reservoir right now that I filmed at before, this place is absolutely phenomenal. Has a really, really big fish. Not too long ago, uh, my friend caught a 7 pounder on a Senko. So we're going to try to capitalize, see if we can get something that big after that Karen encounter. Charles is on my team. We're going to be doing a little 2v2. Let's catch some fish. You got one? Charles got one. Yes. That's what we're talking about, baby. Yes, Charles. Yes. Guys, Charles with a bass. That's awesome on the 1v1. That's tied up. Good job, Charles. Charles, come here. Let's get a look at that guy. Come over here. Come over here when you get him out. Like Ready to hit at the shore? Yeah. Nice. Chatterbait? Yeah. I kind of brought it up like you said you did. Mm -hmm. And you hit it. Yep. It's Charles with a little bass right there on the chatterbait. Good stuff. That is one to one on the 2v2 competition. Let's get a closer look at that guy. He hit it right at the shore. Basically, what we're trying to do right now. Hold on, I have sweat in my eye. Charles with a beautiful little bass right there. Basically guys, what we're trying to do, we have chatterbaits on. There he goes. Guys, basically right now we have chatterbaits with saucy swimmer trailers. Um, and we're basically just casting out, making as far cast as we can on the bank and just rolling this thing in. That's what we're trying to do right now. It's really, really good stuff. 2v2 compo right now. Let's catch more fish. A few moments later. All right, y'all. After two hours, there's not really been any action at all. It's 95 degrees out. It's blazing hot. We had a pretty good day, though. We had a crazy Karen encounter. I had a big fish. I had some more fish. And Charles and AD fishing ended up getting one. Pretty good day. Hopefully not the end, though. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. It was an absolutely crazy video. We caught some really, really good fish. We had a giveaway and a really crazy Karen encounter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turning on that post notifications bell. Leave a like and a comment. All right, guys. Be positive. Just fish.